Question number 13. Two masses M1 and M2 are connected by a massless string. Ignore friction. Assume the pulley is massless. So here is the pulley. The pulley is massless. How do you determine the tension T? Assume constant acceleration. So whenever we see a problem involving two masses, it is a good idea to isolate non-zero masses. So let's draw the figure and M1 M2. All right, so we isolate mass M1. If you want you can put X and Y, and that makes people comfortable. All right, so let's look at the forces acting on mass M1. Definitely there is a gravitational force acting vertically down, right? So isolate mass M1. What acts vertically down? M1G. What acts vertically up? Normal force. Normal force exerted by the table. And now we have an unbalanced force to the right, correct? And that is the tension. So net force along Y, you can write it as net force along Y is equal to zero. Along the vertical, the force is balanced, so you say normal force equals mass m1 times gravity, acceleration due to gravity. And that is the What about along the horizontal? Along the horizontal you have net force along the horizontal equals m1a T is the only force along the horizontal, so you say T equals M1A. Now, on the right side, we can isolate mass M2. And we have the same tension and then we have a bigger gravitational force. Why did I draw the length of the gravitational force bigger? Because it is accelerating down, so that means what? Force down has to be greater than force up. So M2G minus T equals M2A. Bigger force minus small force equals net force. And what do we get? So in the first one, we have T equals M1A. And for the second mass, we have M2G minus T equals M2A. When we add, we get M2G minus T plus T equals M2A plus M1A. Or M2G equals A is common. So you get A is equal to M2 over M1 plus M2 times G. And once you have A, then T equals M1A. This is George Matthew, and I say thank you.